All right, so this is the tooth, and it's inside the uh, gingiva, which is a stratified squamous epithelium, and it's a keratinized stratified squamous. You can see a very thin layer of keratin here. So gingiva and the hard palate will have uh, keratin on its stratified squamous epithelium, as opposed to soft palate and the inside of your cheeks, that's not going to be keratinized. The way I memorize it is that uh, your gingiva and your hard palate are harder, so it gets a little extra keratin to resist abrasion. Um, so the tooth itself, this is the crown, this is the one that's exposed, and this is the root of the tooth, and where they intersect is the neck over here. There should be a layer of enamel here. It's the hardest substance in the body, but in this slide, you don't really see it. This is the remnants of the enamel. It's secreted by ameloblasts. Uh, you're not going to see those either because they die off once they finish secreting enamel. And um, you don't get to create any more enamel after that's gone. Uh, the inside of the tooth is the pulp cavity. And this is made of connective tissue, nerves, and blood vessels. And this is the reason why if you get an infection all the way down into pulp cavity and you need a root, uh, root canal, it's going to hurt like a motherfucker because there's a lot of uh, nerve tissue in here. This is some nerve tissue. Here's some more. Some blood vessels here. I did ask Dr. Kiriko what this stuff is. He wasn't sure, so I guess we don't need to know either. At the outer edge of the pulp cavity, you see odontoblasts. And their job is to secrete dentin. So all of this stuff here is dentin. And these lines are tomes fibers. They're extensions of the odontoblasts. And this lighter staining area here, this is pre-dentin. Uh, it's just dentin that hasn't mineralized yet with hydroxyapatite. If we go further out, uh, this lighter staining area here is also dentin, but I'm, I don't think this has any significance really. This is not pre-dentin, all right? So if you calling something pre-dentin, it has to be right by the odontoblasts. Uh, after the dentin, we have cementum which is similar to bone. And it's really thin up there, but if you follow this farther down, you'll see it's a lot thicker. This is a cementocyte. Here you have more cementum and more cementocytes over here. All right, this is alveolar bone. And so these little circles, that's where the osteocytes are. And in between the alveolar bone and the cementum, you have the periodontal ligament or periodontal membrane. Those two are the same thing. Ligaments usually connect to bones, right? So this is bone, and this is similar to bone. So that's how I remember it. So just to review, going on the other side. Odontoblasts with their tomes fibers. This is pre-dentin. All of this is dentin. This is still dentin. This is cementum with the cementocytes. And again, it's getting really thin as you go further up. Here's a periodontal ligament. And we have alveolar bone here, alveolar bone here. And that's it, just some high yield information for all of us future dentists.